Hi, welcome to Team Ship Reviews. Carbon fiber frames. Hmm. Now, I recently done a purchase online and I bought what is a carbon fiber replica of the Team Black Sheep Discovery frame. And it is something like this. Right. This is the genuine article. This is the Team Black Sheep Discovery. Very expensive, very nice model. I have now found a carbon fiber copy. This is glass fiber and it's got a built-in circuit board. Now what I've got instead, these are carbon fiber plates. And it comes in a kit with the plates and a set of arms. Now, to give you an idea, the frame, just these plates, obviously, admittedly, they got the circuit boards built in, but you're looking at, I think they're 80 pounds for the two plates. Well, tell me by the arms and everything else, you're looking at quite a few hundred pounds for that particular kit. However, for on eBay, for about twenty-five pounds, twenty-eight pound. I'll put the link down below. They come up with this, and it comes with the arms. It comes with a power distribution board and all the screws, fixings, and everything else that you need. A couple of my colleagues have said, "Yeah, but it's it's not carbon fibre." The cheap carbon fiber, the gash drab carbon fiber from China. I have a multimeter. When I short the pins together, I get continuity. If I put the, the pin on the very edge, and I go to the other edge, I get continuity. If I very carefully, I've got a and as you can see, I've got a needle on the end of that. So this is solid carbon. I get con continuity from the top edge of the plate to the bottom edge of the plate. So this is pure carbon. If you're ever doing this, make sure you haven't got these in because it's metal, there's a screw, you've got a physical connection between the two. Now what often happens, you get products, which is cheap Chinese crap like this, looks like carbon fiber, smells like carbon fiber, tastes like carbon fiber, and there is carbon fiber in it. However, it's a glass fiber sandwich. So there's carbon fiber on the top edge, so if I do that, but if I touch the other side, nothing. If I make contact with just the one side, and I touch the other side, nothing. As I move to the outer edge, I get it. So what it is, is that is what's called a sandwich. There's glass fiber in the center and carbon fiber skin on the very outer edge, very thin, very strong, but there's risk of it delaminating. If that happens, now oddly enough, this was a, a protective plate that came with it. And this was the camera plate. When I tested the camera plate, this is pure carbon. Another frame I had was this cheap Chinese quav copy, four mil thick. Done the same with this, pure carbon. This was under twenty pound. The Luminaire equivalent was. £85, £20 or £85, you're going to be crashing it, £20, weighs the same, might not be as strong, maybe, I'm not that naive, I'm not stupid, I would have said that this is low grade carbon, carbon fibre, it has the, the, the fibre in it, but uh, might not be as tough 
as the genuine article. But having looked at the genuine articles, there's an awful lot of cost goes into the packaging. They go in a nice box with foam with all the stickers and badges. Is it really worth that much more? £20. Or pay £95 and have a Luminaire sticker. And having a Luminaire sticker there. Mm. If you're pro pilot, you get the real thing. If you're a noob like me, practicing, throwing them around and learning, don't waste your money, get these. Because in six months' time, you'll be looking at the new latest thing. I'll save you money and get one of these. They'll be coming out soon, I hope. So, yeah, as soon as uh, Steph gets them sorted, these are going to production. Excellent frame. Not an easy build. Quite complicated, so don't think it's a beginner's build. It's not, but this frame is pretty bomb-proof. This is the Mark II. Now, I don't know whether, whether any of you are familiar with the the team black sheep discovery but it's damned heavy and the flight times are low so this is going to be quite interesting i'm going to set this up not with the nasa not with all the gps return to launch no this is going to be set up with a proper flight controller i can fly around in manual mode and fly it like i stole it hmm. for the price it was a steal you need to shop around, you need to check out what's available, how strong they'll be after an impact, who knows. But obviously, time will tell. That's all from me. So go buy them and build them. Thank you very much. Just a final thought, I've actually purchased a Team Black Sheep Discovery and I'm not disrespecting it because there is a good quality bit of kit. However, if you want something to bash around that's very similar, then don't wreck your TBS. Chuck a, a Naze 32 or an F3 flight controller in there and throw it around. If you're going to crash it, you're better off crashing something cheap. What I'm saying is that there are alternatives and I don't condone copying. This is a, almost uh, an exact copy of the layout of the TBS Discovery, which seems to be the way China is at the moment, but it was cheap. How do they do it? How do they do it? There you are. Enjoy. Enjoy.